Ever wonder how the Mortal Instruments series holds up a decade after its conclusion? Let's dive into the shadowy world of Shadowhunters and explore 15 harsh realities about this beloved young adult fantasy series. Have you subscribed to our channel yet? Don't forget to hit the like button. As a diehard fan of Cassandra Clare's Shadowhunter Chronicles, I can confidently say that the more recent editions like The Dark Artifices and The Last Hours surpass the charm and maturity of the mortal instruments. With time, Claire's writing style and storytelling prowess have evolved considerably, which is evident in her later works. Uh, originally introduces the first segment of Claire's extensive Shadowhunter Chronicles. Rereading the mortal instruments today gives us a different perspective compared to when City of Heavenly Fire was released. The Shadowhunter universe has expanded tremendously, branching into various captivating series like The Infernal Devices, The Dark Artifices, and The Last Hours. The, um, however, um, there are certain aspects of the original series that might catch you off guard upon revisiting. Here are 15 harsh realities about the Mortal Instruments series that prove the series has an age gracefully. And that is overly ambitious darkness as the Mortal Instruments tries too hard to mimic a dark atmosphere, resulting in gothic quotes scattered across the books. Sometimes simplicity works best, something Claire mastered in her later works. And you allow them to use them. So, great. Tougher a lot of various actors. Another example. As we have cried to myths as in no time, it is we cried to say that they simply save it as a tool that is not as they live to exercise that and what's going to do is form to create three flawed main character clary commits mistake after mistake causing harm to those around her instead of learning valuable lessons she throws tantrums damaging her credibility and we worked up as they are we see everybody makes it tepping up and a serious eximus. I have a serious contemplation, and yet humans giving us compelling antagonists worthy of our attention. And then five, problematic plot twist. Learning that Clary and Jace are related, as revealed in the book's twist, significantly adds to the discomfort of reflecting upon the series afterward, and not verged up. That C. And then six, tumultuous love triangle. The romantic entanglement among Clary, Jace, and Simon highlights a lack of respect and consideration, straining relationships and trust among the central trio. And seven, outdated trope usage. The series utilizes commonplace YA fantasy cliches, featuring tired concepts like the not-like-other-girls mentality in predictable romances. And then finally, unnatural dialogue. Contrived one-liners force themselves into conversations, interrupting the organic rhythm established in later Shadowhunter novels of those locations. Uh, nine would underdeveloped antagonist. Uh, Valentine, the main antagonist, uh, lacks depth and complexity, rendering him less menacing than intended, uh, and then toxic relationship dynamics. During the earlier stages of the series, Magnus and Alex's relationship suffers from poor decision-making and emotional manipulation, fortunately improving as the timeline advances, and I will just be a great crust. If you want to see, you'll have the 11th slow middle segment, City of Fallen Angels and City of Lost Souls, fail to maintain the momentum built by previous entries, lagging behind the Hyde Claire in her later books. And we have to buy the birthday study himself, and then... They have to pause them, really had to have them to airify the adaptations of the original sacrifices. They could not be carrying a heaven to... And then the 15th is improved sequel series. The Mortal Instruments acts as ground zero for Claire's larger Shadowhunter universe. But the rest of the series proves increasingly impressive, highlighting the improvements that Claire's craftsmanship. And made them, made them take an all a single pick. Both the Mortal Instruments film and Shadowhunters TV series fell flat, dashing hopes for a faithful representation of Claire's fantastical universe. Uh, with that said, thank you for joining me on this deep dive into the Mortal Instruments series. Uh, and remember, every great story starts somewhere, and sometimes the growing pains 
uh, along the way to serve as stepping stones uh, toward greater achievements. Until next time. Why couldn't the Shadowhunter fix his computer? He didn't have the right codex.